One thing that is certain from the Tory leadership's visit to Scotland is whoever wins, Scotland loses, and the days of devolution are well and truly numbered. The Tories are determined to pursue their toxic policies UK-wide, irrespective of devolution. It's a pity they both can't lose, but with either of them as PM, more Scots are likely to support independence. In addition to the regular doorstep sessions discussing independence with local constituents, this week saw two excellent business meetings hosted by my colleagues, Michelle Thompson, MSP, and Fiona Hislop, MSP. You've all been invited here to, to, to engage with the Minister. We're delighted to, to have Ivan McKee with us, who is the Minister for uh, Business, Trade, Tourism and Enterprise, and I understand with new responsibilities for digital and efficient government. Let's imagine Scotland is an independent country. What does business need to see in place for that? What are the opportunities? Um, I want to talk a wee bit about um, some of those opportunities, that um, areas where we will have power once we're independent. If you would like to hear Ivan McKee's address to local businesses, the video of his introductory remarks from Grangemouth is published on my YouTube channel and the link is in the description. As the fuel crisis continues to deepen, Ofgem director Christine Farnish has now quit saying the UK government regulator gave too much benefit to companies at the expense of consumers. I have reiterated my calls for the UK government to freeze energy bills, scrapping the increase to the price cap, and to broaden the windfall tax to include all businesses which have profited from the pandemic or the energy crisis. It's now also clear that businesses also need the introduction of an energy price cap if the small and medium-sized firms are to survive this storm. If you'd like me to visit your local group or business, or if you would like an advice surgery appointment, give me a call on 01506 654415 or email martin.day.mp at parliament.uk. And until next week, stay safe. Oh.